So the eustachian tubes are small tubes that connect the space behind the eardrum with the area behind your nose. They have a few important functions. Uh, the most important function is to equalize the pressure across the eardrum when there are pressure changes outside. So common situations would be driving down a big hill or flying or scuba diving. If we're not able to equalize the pressure, then you can get symptoms like ear fullness and pressure, as well as ear pain, hearing loss, and even ear infections. Other important functions of the eustachian tube are protecting the ear from infections uh, and clearing fluid from behind the eardrum. There are several causes and risk factors for eustachian tube dysfunction. One is common things like the cold or the flu. This can cause temporary swelling of the eustachian tube that can lead to the symptoms that I previously discussed. The other risk factor is just being very young and having undeveloped eustachian tubes. So young kids tend to have shorter and flatter eustachian tubes, and that's why they're more prone to things like fluid behind the eardrum and ear infections. Other risk factors include things like chronic allergies and sinus issues, as well as reflux and smoking. So in some cases, the only treatment needed for eustachian tube dysfunction is time. So with a cold or a flu, typically if you give it a few weeks, the symptoms will go away on their own. In other cases, if the underlying cause is allergies or sinus issues, if we treat those conditions, the eustachian tube issues will also resolve. If there's no improvement with medical management, typically the next step is placing ear tubes. This allows the pressure to be equalized and allows us to remove any fluid that's behind the eardrum. In younger kids, we typically do this in the operating room, and in uh, older kids and adults, we can usually do this in clinic. For people who require multiple sets of ear tubes or who just don't want to have to have ear tubes every year or so, there is a newer treatment option available. This is something called eustachian tube balloon dilation. It's something we can do in clinic, either under local anesthesia or under sedation. It involves looking uh, through your nose with a small scope to see the eustachian tube opening. And we then place a small balloon through the eustachian tube and we dilate it for a couple minutes. After that, we deflate the balloon and remove it so nothing stays in your nose or the eustachian tube. There's no cutting involved and it's overall very safe and well tolerated. This works to completely resolve symptoms in about 50 to 75 percent of patients and at least 90 percent of patients have at least some improvement in symptoms. So it's really a good newer option that we have for treating this difficult problem. Here at Capital Otolaryngology, we use state-of-the-art technology to work with you to develop a personalized treatment plan so that we can help you feel better today.